Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my collection of jersey dresses and uh, talk a little bit about some jersey dress patterns that I'd like to make in the future. So if that interests you, stick around. Hi everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name's Laura and I'm the Carpe DM Stitcher. So as I said in the intro to this video, today I'm going to um, talk to you about my collection of jersey dresses. Um, I've made four so far, so I thought I'd talk to you about what I like about them, what I don't like about them. Um, a little bit like I did with t-shirts um, a little while ago. Um, I got some really lovely comments on um, that video, so thank you to everyone who took the time to comment on that. Um, I thought you had some really interesting suggestions for patterns, so I spent an awful lot of time looking on the internet to see what else I might make there. And of course next month is the uh, Joey she Joey's, um, the So Joey um, Summer T-shirt challenge uh, for 2022. So I'll be doing some more t-shirts uh, next month, so I'm going to revisit that topic next month. Um, but yes, I thought I'd talk to you about the jersey dresses I've made so far, and also talk about a few patterns that I'm interested to make going forwards. So um, some of the patterns I've made are in a more wintry fabric, so of course if you're in the Southern Hemisphere now, um, you're going into winter so um, I hope that'll be interesting to you plus also um, I'm looking out the window here and it is um, May I'm filming this um, midway through May and we have a phrase here which is um, now cast the clout till May is out in other words you know it could still turn cold at any minute plus also some of the um, to, um, the dresses that I'm going to talk to you about later on are most definitely summery and as is um, the one that I'm wearing now can also be um, made for summer. I've seen some lovely summer versions of this. So um, I hope that this will interest you and yeah, let's get started. So um, the first one that I'm going to talk about is actually the one that I'm wearing and um, this is the um, Kielo wrap dress by um, Named Clothing. So um, you you might remember um, very early on in my YouTube videos um, I did a seamstress tag and one of the questions was something like um, what's your biggest sewing disaster and I pulled out what I call the bin liner of shame and I showed you an outfit that I had been attempting to make for a wedding and it had all gone horribly wrong. And I said to you at the time, I will show you what I actually ended up um, making and wearing. And it was this dress. It's the, as I say, it's the Kielo wrap dress from um, Named Clothing. So um, it sewed up really quickly, really easily. Um, I have to say that this fabric that this dress is made in is absolutely my favourite fabric that I have ever had. I absolutely love it and um, if I pop up my colours that I did um, online earlier this year I hope, think hopefully you can see that um, actually although the main colour, the base colour possibly isn't in my colour palette, an awful lot of the other ones are. It's got those jewel tones in again, it's got the pinks in. Um, really rich pinks and some grey and um, purpley bits somewhere I think yeah some of the where the pink goes into the purple it, um, pink goes into some of the other colours it goes purpley so I love the fabric um, and I got it from Croft Mill Fabrics but I originally saw it on um, Jenny Stitcher's website um, so I'll put links to both of them down below and to the fabric if Croft Mill still got it uh, and I hesitated too long on the Jenny Stitcher's website, so I was a bit gutted and I thought I wasn't going to be able to get it, but I did. And I absolutely love the fabric. It was great to sew with. Um, it's a really nice sort of mid-weight jersey. 
So um, the Kielo wrap dress comes in sizes. I've got my iPad here so I can give you um, sizes of things. So bear with me and hopefully I will be able to give you the sizing. So where are we? Yes, so it comes in sizes. Um, the UK sizes are sizes 4 to 28. So UK size four is um, bust of 29 and 7 eighths uh, inches, waist of 23 uh, and 5 eighths inches and a hip of 33 and an eighth inch. Um, and it goes all the way up to a size um, 28, which is um, 52 and three quarter inch bust, um, a waist of 46 and a half inches and hip of 55 and 7 eighths inches. So I made a straight size 10 because although I am um, bigger on my lower half um, than I am on my top half, there's so much room um, with it being um, a faux wrap style dress that I didn't need to worry about that. So um, the dress um, comes as a actually quite a long dress, as standard it comes um, almost down to the ankle. Um, and you can also, um, the pattern, the, the later version of the pattern, the later release, um, now comes with a sleeve option, which you can see that I did, and it also comes as a jumpsuit, which I don't think it did in previous versions. Um, so, yes, there's quite a lot of variety in the pattern. So I will um, pop up a video of me um, wearing it, which I took earlier this afternoon. There's lots of twirling in this video, for those of you who like to see twirls. Um, and you'll see that um, I start off and I've got the wrap, so that it's pulled round to the back and um, the dress tied at the front, uh, which is how I'm wearing it now. Uh, and then you'll see that I change it round so that I um, put it so that the wrap bit is at the front. So the bulk of the material is at the front and then I've tied it at the back. So for me, I really don't like it with all the fabric at the front. I much prefer it with the fabric pulled away towards the back um, because I prefer the streamlined shape that that gives me at the front. So I don't dislike the dress. It worked really well on the day. It was really comfortable. I'll try to put a picture in of me wearing it at the wedding, but actually um, the wedding was in October and it was in a marquee. It was one that had got put off twice because of COVID. Um, and so actually quite a lot of the time I had my coat on as well. So I haven't really got a picture of me just in the dress. Um, but I'll put in a picture um, that I took nearer the time of me actually just standing in the dress. So you can see that I cut it off um, around, about the, around about the knee and that was pretty easy to do. It's fine. In the longer version there's a vent at the back. So what I did was I just cut the... Um, hemline at about the top of the vent and that worked really well so um yeah so i was happy with that and i felt that meant that i could um move around easily on the day um but i think i think the longer length is really pretty but i, I just didn't think it was for me on this occasion um so i don't mind the dress um, I haven't actually worn it since, but I have to say that that's probably more of a consequence of the fact I haven't been anywhere where I would really want to wear the dress, because to me it is slightly more formal, um, certainly in the way that um, I've made it up. So I don't really dislike it. Would I make it again? I might, for a special occasion. Um, but I probably wouldn't rush to. That doesn't mean I don't like it, but I think it's one of those patterns where, for me at the moment, one in my wardrobe is probably enough. So that's the um, Kielo wrap dress and jumpsuit from Named. Okay, just have a quick drink of tea. It's thirsty work talking non stop. So second dress coming up so I think you've probably seen pictures of this before so um, this dress is the Butterick um, 6388 so I made view D which is this one um, 
and I made it in this um, fabric from I think it's myfabrics.co.uk but actually um, when you order from that site it actually goes through to Germany so it's not really um, a company that's based in the UK so they've got some beautiful fabrics but you just need to be aware that um, you've got international postage so um, it's just just worth being aware of that so this is made in a kind of um, French terry and I really like it and it's you know one of those weird things where orange is not meant to be a colour that I'm supposed to be able to wear but I don't mind this on me and I really like the um, spotty style so um, one of the things I like about this top is the wrap over neck this was actually the first jersey dress that I made I made it fairly early on in my sewing career um, so pre the lockdowns um, and I really like it. It is definitely um, an outfit that I would wear more in winter than um, going into spring um, because it is it is made in a much thicker fabric and it has pockets so inserted into the seam and you'll see that it's actually got these kind of interesting triangular panels on it. I don't know how well you can see that. Yes there. So you've got the pocket at the front bit. So the pocket is, where is the pockets there? And then you've got this um, triangle on the side seams. So it's quite an interesting construction. It's got these drop sleeves. I didn't have an overlocker when I made this um, and it went together on my sewing machine absolutely fine. Um, so I, I like this one. Would I make it again? Yes, I definitely would make it again. And in fact, if you've um, seen any of my videos before, you will know that I've decided that I want to make the top, um, the shorter top, um, before I actually go ahead and make the dress again. And that I have already got some fabric to um, do that in. So um, that's definitely something that's going to happen. I said it was going to happen in my Springs Plan video. Um, it hasn't happened yet, but it is going to happen. So um, that's what that fabric is reserved for. So in terms of sizing this one, um, it goes from an extra small to an extra, extra large. Um, extra small is bust 29 and a half to 30 and a half, waist 22 to 23 inches and hip 31 and a half to 32 and a half. Uh, and it goes up to um, the XXL, which is um, let's have a look, 48 to 46 inch bust, 39 to 41 and a half waist and 48 to 50 inch hip. But it's actually um, pretty forgiving because um, of the stretchy fabric. So um, I think I did grade out at the, at the hip and the waist, but um, it's it's absolutely fine. I've put on a little bit of weight and it, it's still fine on me, I think. So, yes, uh, would I make it again as a dress? Yes, I would. Would I change anything? Yes, I would. The one thing I would do is I probably wouldn't put the pockets in again um, because much as it's lovely to have pockets, it does um, do that thing of kind of ruining the line a bit on the, on the dress so that you, you kind of end up with these kind of lumps particularly you know if you made it in the same kind of thicker fabric so I'd probably do without the pockets much as it pains me to say that I probably wouldn't put in the pockets next time round. So that is my second jersey dress the Butterick 6388 and I would really recommend that pattern really lovely. So that's the um, second one. The next one I think you probably have seen before so this is the Nina Lee Southbank sweater dress. This was actually my very last make of 2021. And it's got a little label in it, which says contains cat hair, which I think came from um, the Pink Coat Club, who is no longer doing labels. I'll double check, but I think that's where it came from. Um, so I did it, um, yeah, long sleeves. It's It's got... Um, cuffs and um, a band at the bottom which I've done in the same fabric rather than ribbing 
um, and this was a Ponty, which I think I mentioned before, um, it came from um, a shop in Edinburgh, which is subsequently closed down, which is a real shame. Um, and this comes in sizes um, 6 to 20, so size 6 is bust 32 inches, waist 24 inches and hip 33 and a half inches, and it goes... It does also come in um, other versions. It comes in a um, kind of tunic length and also a crop length. I'll just show you the line drawings there. As you might remember, I made the tunic version for So Yellow for Endo. So I'll pop a picture of me up in that as well. Um, I will put a picture up, sorry, picture. I'll put up the... Um, video of me doing some twirls in this. I do really like the dress. I would make it again, but what I would do if I made it again is I would um, halve the width of this um, neck band because what I feel is that it kind of comes up a bit high on me. It doesn't exactly annoy me, but it just feels slightly too high. And I think other people have said that about the um, dress as well. Um, so I'd agree with that. So when I made the tunic for So Yellow for Endo, I did halve the um, the depth of the neckband and I think that worked much better. So um, pattern piece is already done. So yes, I would definitely uh, make this one again. Um, I think one thing that all these dresses that I'm talking you through have got in common is I absolutely love the fabric for all of them. Um, I, I just find that they yeah, they're all really different, but I think they're all just really me. And again, this is kind of my colour palette with the, the purples and the blues and the dark greens. Um, so I didn't originally buy the fabric for this dress. I bought it for a different dress, but I'm so glad I hung on to it. To, uh, and I think I'll definitely get lots of wear out of this one going forward. So that is the Nina Lee South Bank sweater dress. So that's that one. And then the final one that I've got to show you, which I'm pretty sure you haven't seen before. Now I'm going to go back through my thumbnails now and discover that I definitely have shown you it or I've worn it or something, but I don't think I have. Um, so this is the Billy by Tilly and the Buttons, so this pattern here. Um, and I made it in the... Um, version three, which is the regular sleeve dress. So um, if I show you the line drawings there, you can see that you can make this as a top and um, as well as a dress, and you can do either of them with a kind of balloon sleeve. And this is just the um, straight sleeve. And it's made in this kind of French terry again. I think it's a loop back, a loop back French terry. Um, and I just, I just love the fabric again because it's so, um, I think the only word I can use to describe it is zany. So it's got these electric light bulbs all over it and then the moths kind of flying around, grouping around the, um, the light bulbs. And I just thought it was so original. I, I just had to have it really. And then I have chosen to pair it with um, black jersey ribbing around the neck and the cuffs and the bottom band and I think that works really well because it picks out the wires and the um, bottom of the light bulbs. Um, so I think I graded out on this one as well. So this pattern, um, I just did a bit of checking just before I came on to do the video and my pattern goes up from a, um, a Tilly size 1 to a Tilly size 10 but she's actually now extended the size range. So it now goes all the way up to UK 34. So um, it's a, obviously a bigger size range than I've got on this pattern. Um, but I looked this up for you. So it comes now in sizes. So a size one is um, 30 inch bust, 24 inch waist and 33 inch hip. And the size 34 
is 56 inch bust um a have i got that right sorry high bust of 56 inches um 60 inch bust 53 inch waist and a 61 inch hip so that's great um much much more inclusive size range than my pattern has the only change i made to this um and if you've got the um billy pattern you might anticipate that i'm going to say this is that I took the pockets out and didn't didn't put them in because of the issue that I was mentioning with the um, the butterick dress that it just kind of makes it makes the um, the dress kind of flow less well around the hips. So um, I will hopefully or I will now if I haven't already um, pop up the video of me wearing this and doing some twirling. So that's the last of the twirls. Um, would I make this again? Yes. Absolutely, I would make this again. I am intending to make the top um, fairly soon. I'd also really like to try, there's a hack, I think I've mentioned it before, of a um, the Billy dress, but with the um, Freya cowl neckline, um, which I've thought about doing. And one of the fabrics that I thought I could try to do that in is this one. I'll just pop Billy back down. There we go. I might try and do it in this one. My only concern with this is that it doesn't have, it's not kind of the same on both sides because it's obviously printed, um, it's printed design rather than woven on. But this fabric um, I originally got to make a Freya dress, but I like the line of the Billy. So I think um, I'm quite tempted to give that a go, but I think I'd have to see if it would drape properly for the cowl. Um, I'm trying to remember where I got this. I think it's Fabworks, um, but I'll pop the details down below. Um, but yes, I do quite like a leopard print. I don't have um, too many in my collection, but yeah, I think that's quite a fun fabric. So, and it needs to be sewn up. It's been in my stash a while. So, um, yeah, that's the Billy. I would definitely make it again. And I think if I've put these in any kind of order, I think probably it is, it is my favourite of all of them. Um, I think really it just fits into my lifestyle the best. It's the type of one, actually, as is the Nina Lee South Bank, that I would reach for if I was doing something like going into town with, um, a husband or a friend for lunch or um, go into a fabric show something like that because I think it's it's kind of easy and it, it just doesn't feel like there's fussy bits so this is great and it's 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 kind of fine for an occasion but I'm always kind of really aware that I've got you know ties and bits dangling around and it it, it just doesn't fit into my lifestyle as easily I don't think um, so yeah so that's why I like the Billy and there will be more billies. So let me know what you think. Let me know if um, you've made any of the ones that I've made or whether you think you might. So that's the first part of the video. Second part, which I'm going to go through um, now, is just to mention two or three patterns that I've got that I think I might make going forward, which are also Jersey patterns. So um, one of them, one or two of them, I'm just going to mention really quickly because I know I've talked about them before, so I'm not going to spend hours on them um, because you can look back at my earlier videos. So the first one in that category is the hot chocolate, sorry, hot coffee dress from uh, what is now Waves and Wild. It was made by Jack's mum. Um, and you'll see they've got a hoodie style dress, but they've also got this kind of cowl neck dress. Um, so I've got the pattern already printed off. I just haven't um, stuck it together yet because I've only got the A4 version. Um, but I will definitely be giving that one a go. And I will be doing that in this fabric, um, which is another um, loop back French terry which I really like, um, this really vibrant marble. So um, that's one of them. Um, there is an outside chance I might change my mind and make a hoodie, but um, that's certainly 
a plan. I think I said at the time, my head says I should do a hoodie and my heart says I'll do the dress. So we'll see which wins. So that's one of them. Um, another one, which I keep meaning to get made every year and every year I haven't managed it yet, um, is one, I do apologise for saying the Christmas word when it's only May, but I've got this Christmassy style fabric, which I got from Fabricland in Bristol and I've got just over two metres of it I think um, which is this kind of quite pretty um, sort of pink and black sort of nordic -y pattern and with this I would like to make this will be later in the year obviously um, the um, cocoa dress I'm just looking to make sure that yeah if I did the plain dress I should be able to get it, I can get it out of um, two metres, I think. And in fact, it's saying 2.3 metres for the dress with the funnel neck and cuffs. So that's the, that's the line drawings for that, sorry. Um, so if I could, I'd do the funnel, I'd do the funnel neck and cuffs, but if I can't, then I get the plain dress out of it. Um, probably wouldn't bother with the pockets. Um, I'm not a big one for patch pockets on the front of garments. So, yeah. So that's the cocoa dress. Um, I won't go through the sizing, but what I will say is that uh, um, if you go on the Tilly and the Buttons website, when I was checking the sizing for um, Billy, the cocoa dress has now also had the pattern expanded. So you can buy it in exactly the same size range as you could for the Billy so if you go on, it does have the extended size range now, which is great. I own the old pattern again, although mine's PDF. So maybe if I went online, I would find I could upload, um, download rather, the um, bigger size range if I needed to. So yes, so the Coco is definitely another one on my radar. Two more that are on my radar, which I'm not going to talk about in huge detail because I've mentioned them in the context of T-shirts are the sew over it molly top and dress and the I kept calling it the Erin and it isn't it's the ED um, t-shirt and dress which are from the first two capsule wardrobe books for sew over it so the first one's from City Breaks and the second one is from Work to Weekend and I'll link those down below but I'm not going to talk about them in detail because I've said I want to make them as t-shirts and I'll do that first before I do the dress so those two are on my radar and then um, the other two that I just wanted to mention are patterns that I've had from um, Prima magazine through um, I think I've mentioned before that um, my mum's friend gets um, the patterns from Prima magazine and very kindly um, has them sent on to me so this one came through quite a while ago March last year and um, this one is a kind of um, slightly princess seamed style dress. So you can see um, there's a longer length version and shorter length version. So I'll just show you the line drawings there. Okay. So there's that one. And I have thought a number of times about, there's probably going to be a crash in a minute because I've got fabric sitting up in there. I have thought about making that in this, which I got from Lamarzi Fabrics, this um, purple um, lily design jersey. Um, I think I've got 2.7 metres of it. So I've thought about doing that because it's not too clingy. I do worry about knitted dresses that they're going to kind of cling to every lump and bump which is why I haven't made all that many of them in a lighter fabric although I have to say because of the style of the Kiolo um, I don't feel it clings to every lump and bump but it is something that I'm kind of aware of so um, that's that one and the other pattern that actually came through with the last edition I'll, I'll just show you um, the line drawings there's a rat is a wrap it actually it's a faux wrap 
So um, that might fit into my lifestyle a bit better than the whole full Monty with the um, Kielo. Um, so you'll see that it's been done in a stripy jersey and also in a floral. I'll just show you the line drawings. And I think that's really pretty and I think that is a really good example of something. I think both of them are something that could be much more summery than some of the ones that I've shown you. So that might happen. Both of these dresses have um, the same size range. So they come in a UK size 6 which is bust 32, waist 25 and hips 35 inches and they go at to a size 20 which is bust 45 inches waist of 38 inches and hips of 48 inches so as I said I think when I talked about my denim skirt that I made before they're not the world's most size inclusive patterns um, which is a bit of a shame um, but yes so I might give them a go um, the other one that I nearly forgot to mention because it is um, I do own the pattern, but I've literally just sent it off actually to get it printed. Is a um, is the Tessa sheath dress from um, Love Notions. So I'll try and pop a picture of that up here. And it's not unlike the one I've just shown you from um, Prima with the princess seams, but it doesn't have um, it doesn't have um, princess seams on it. But I'll try and put um, a picture up of the line drawings for you um, but this one comes from in a size um, XS to 5X so hopefully I can tell you what those sizes are yeah here we go so um, this is so the 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 extra small is full bust of 33 inches waist 26 and a half inches and hip of 35 and a half and the 5x is 57 and a half inches 49 and a half inch waist and hip of 59 and a half inches um and i like the variety that the tessa sheath has got and it's got um a boat neck um on it as well as one of the options which i quite like and I mentioned that we've been invited to an engagement party in June. And we've also been invited by the same family to a birthday party of our godson the night before. So one of the reasons that I've had the Tessa dress printed is because I might make that for the night before. I'll talk to you a bit more about what I've decided on for the engagement party next time. So... Um, I've got a few fabrics um, that I could do that in. So this is one that I bought at the same time as I bought this from Croft Mill. I wasn't sure which one I was going to pick. And in the end I picked this because it was more autumnal and because I actually preferred the colours. But so I've got this um, jersey which is from um, yeah Croft Mill again. And, and this is a directional print I think. So it's a bit more fiddly if I'm going to cut it out. It's got these enormous flowers on it and it is really pretty. I'm a bit less convinced by it as my colour palette, but I think I could probably get away with it. And I've got, I think, four metres of that, which is quite a lot, really. But it's because it was directional and I knew that I was going to make the Kielo and it takes a lot of material. So then hence I got four metres. I've also got, if I wanted to make a more winter version, I've got this Ponty brown ponty which I've had in my stash for ages and I really need to use up because I've got that one um, and then I've also got this which I need to get used up which is another jersey from I want to say Fabworks again um, my only problem with this one is that it is quite kind of when you stretch it you can see white through it so whatever I make with this, it does have to be drapey. So if you've got any ideas for what I could make with that, I think I've got about two metres of it. I'm not sure. I'll check. Um, I'd really love to know your thoughts because I think it's beautiful, um, but it can't be anything that's too clingy or stretchy because it just will look awful. So that's my um, fabrics 
that have potential to become jersey dresses. Those are the patterns that I'm thinking of making at some point. I'm not saying they're firm plans, but I definitely see more jersey dresses in my future. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Sewing has been taking place since I got back from France. Um, so I will have things to show you next week. I've also ordered some fabric and some patterns. So I am hoping this week I will get the Friday Sews filmed and I'll be able to let you know what I'm planning and a little bit about what I've been making. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. A massive thank you to everybody who has liked, commented and subscribed to my videos so far. I'm now almost at 350 subscribers. I'm really hoping that sometime soon I can get to 500 because then I can um, access the community tab on YouTube and that means I can start interacting with you much more about what you would like to see on my channel. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.